So I'm putting together some uh, connectors um, working on my 3D printer. Um, going to uh, put everything together in a separate package outside of the printer. And I'm using these JST SM connectors and uh, I put uh, the pins, these pins that are on these wires, I crimp them on. And just for the sake of uh, doing what I was doing, I pulled on the pins and uh, one of them broke. Um, so this connector now has the pins kind of stuck inside as you can see on the back side here hope that you can see that that's the end of the pin there so uh, my question was how in God's name do you get these things back out once you've put them in there and it turns out um, a week ago I bought a set of uh, pin pullers from Amazon and in this set there is one here that is as you can see is kind of flat and the reason I, I decided to, to kind of put this on video is I was searching to find something online as to how to remove these um, obviously the the other connectors where the barb is exposed is easy enough but this one the barb is kind of hidden there isn't any place where you can push on the barb um, from outside the pin so uh, it turns out and uh, what the real story is is that inside the housing itself um, where the pin comes in there is space just above the pin itself yeah uh, this might be hard to show but what you've got to do is on the front end that actually goes into the connector not the back end where the cable comes out of on the front end you've got to get this key into the top of just above the uh, the pin itself and this thing is a little bit of a tricky little bugger to get to but um, let me do off camera here all right so there you are now it's in there but uh, there's just no because of the fact that I broke the cables off the only way to get to this now is to use a pair of pliers and what you want to do is pull the pin as though you were seeing the pin and what that does for you is the barb now is pulled this way barb is pulled towards the front and now you can push the release uh, pin into it and pull up a little bit and uh, pull up and then push down on that a little squiggly here trying to do this with the camera and once you've done that then all of a sudden there you are now you can remove the pin so um, like I said I was looking to see if there was a way to do that online and uh, I haven't seen no one describe that so this little uh, bunch of release pins I got from Amazon and I'll take a look and uh, I'll include that in the video um, on the uh, beneath the video so that you can see where it is and let me take the last one out you have to do this off camera because I am blind 
So get that. All right. And so this is the the next one. Pull up on the pin itself just to oops. I pulled the wrong place. <laughs> okay. Let's get back here. Then in. Pull the pin itself forward and while I'm pill pulling the pin forward, push down on the release mechanism, then push the pin the other way, and there it is, out it comes. Alright, so just because, as I said before, I was looking to see if, if there was anything online um, to show you how to do this, and I didn't find one, so I figured, hey, what the heck, make a video for since uh, I found it the hard way, uh, kind of a way to give back. That's it.